Have you been watching the Olympics? No. <laughs> okay. What's your favourite sport that they have in the Olympics? I forgot what it's called. <laughs> You know the one when the one where they, uh, they run and they jump? It's called... Uh, um, when they try and jump? H when, they, yeah. when they try to they, jump high? Yes. There's a running and jumping. Oh, hurdles. hurdles. Okay, hurdles. The hurd yeah, the hurdles is when they have a race, but along the way they have to jump. Yes. Another event in the athletics is the high jump. Yeah, no, I meant the hurdles. Oh, okay. But I forget the name sometimes. Well, when I was... 11 years old, I was very good at the high jump. We didn't do the hurdles uh, at that stage, I don't think. But I was very good at the high jump. I was very good at the long jump as well. I was good at jumping in general. You probably still are. Uh, maybe. And I got selected to represent the school in district sports. So you go and you compete against all the other schools in the district i was very good at long jump very good at high jump didn't know which one i should go for i ended up going for the high jump another friend of mine did the long jump and in the end i came third in the district wow. joint third in fact out of how many students well, at least four or five uh, <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were going to say no, well it might it might have been like 30 it felt like a lot a lot of different schools from the district and the way high jump works they put the bar at a certain height mm. everyone jumps over it and they keep putting it up and up and up and if you m miss it three times you're out so it just keeps going up and up and up until everybody is out and i got to the last four mm. and me and another guy failed at the same height so we were joint third in the district well done and that was my the pinnacle of my high jumping career. And then later on, when I got to secondary school, I did more long jump. And I competed again a couple of times. I don't think I ever reached the great level of third in the district after that. But so, I enjoyed long jump uh, and high jump. Do you think it's something to do with your length? Does it help if you are tall? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I, was trying to say, I was short back then. Uh, but... So was everyone else, <laughs> uh, but it was re it was really something that I felt I was really achieving at, and I remember we used to practice at lunchtime, and people the the school would come and watch, and people would say, "Oh, you're that guy that is uh, jumping higher than anyone else," and someone made me a card with a picture of a high jumper on it, and they they put my name on it. That so feeling that, of success, mm. of achievements, when you are young. Yeah. It, it lasts forever. It feels very special, and, isn't it? And that year, uh, I was awarded, again jointly with another friend who was very good at sport, a guy called Christopher. We both won the Sportsman of the Year nice. in, in the school. How old uh, were you? No, year six, so uh, 11 oh. years old. And when I went back to visit the school, like years later, I saw in the cabinet my name and his name on the trophy still. And he kept it for six months and I kept it for six months. And we were both, and he was actually a very good athlete. He went on to do very well at gymnastics. I think he did uh, represent England at, at, at some point. He was a very good athlete. And I did a little bit more of the long jump and the high jump. But in, in those times, it was just the, call it the scissor kick. You know, we didn't jump and land on the soft crash mat. You just had to jump and land in the sand pit. So you had to kind of just uh, run up to it and do your best. Do you think schools back then encouraged sports more than now? Maybe. I, I always look back and think I should have encouraged myself more. And we only did, we did athletics, but we only did it in summertime. I, if I had been practicing all year round, I could have been great at long jump or high jump, but we only did it in summer. And in winter, I was playing rugby, which is a winter sport. So because it's seasonal and you only practice certain sports at certain times, you don't get to commit. If you want to be the best at something, 
I think you have to specialise in it from a very early age. That's true, yes. I'm not saying I would have been the best, but I would have been better. But I, I, I don't begrudge the fact that I tried many different sports and my boxing coach said to be a true sportsman you have to you have to do everything you have to be an all-rounder and the athlete that has trained in multiple ways might have the edge over someone who's only ever trained in the traditional uh, manner for their sport but the reason why I thought of this topic this week is because in the Olympics in the high jump there was an incredible finish to the men's uh, tournament yeah. Yeah. and as i said you keep jumping the bar keeps going up and up yeah. until there's no one left the the last two left in this tournament were italy and qatar italy are, oh italy are winning italy have done well in a lot of things well, well this, this year, year yes. in the euros in the eurovision song contest in the 100 meters and the 100 meter athlete from Italy was actually watching this event. Oh, wow. At the time he was there with him, and, you, and you'll see him uh, congratulate his fellow Italian. But there, there's two left, and the Qatari athlete has just failed at his final attempt. I think the bar had reached the height of the Olympic record, possibly two meters 39. So Italy now, and this guy, he looked that cast yeah. is because he was out because he was injured in 2019 and 2020, and look, he's got 2021 uh, written down there. He's saying like, my injury is not going to stop me. This is my year. I'm going to get gold. Oh, wow! So but he was injured. He was injured before. He's come back from injury. Wow! He's brought his cast with him. Qatar are out. He and Qatar are joint level. They've both. Uh, jumped the, the same height and they've got the, the same record um, so far. So if he jumps it, then he wins. If he doesn't, then they're level and they may have to continue like a, a penalty shootout. And, you know, the first one to, to fail at a jump and they'll have to carry on. But let's see, he's got one jump to win a gold for his country. Here he goes, his last chance. No. Okay. So, it's neck and neck. Now, their referee is coming over to explain to them, and he's saying, you're, you're level, so now we can go to, like, a tiebreaker. Listen to what he says. He, ju he just said to him, can we have two golds? And he says, it's possible, but only if you two agree. It'll be history, my friend. Boom. Two golds. Oh, wow. Yeah, they share the gold. Amazing. If it gets to the end in the rules, if the two that are in the lead agree, they have two gold medals. Oh, wow.